Hey everyone, welcome back to the study side. I'm Sunny, and today I'm going to rank the top zodiac signs who are least <laughs> least likely to admit they're wrong. <laughs> Seriously. Anyways, I hope everyone is having a super amazing day. Welcome back to the sunny side, everyone. Now, for those who are new, before we start, there is, is a little blah blah before we get to the video, just to know, uh, let you know what's happening on the channel. So, um, then I'm going to explain. So first there's a little blah blah, then I'm going to explain the criteria for today's list, and then we'll get to the action. Everybody cool? All right, here we go. Now, oh, one more thing. These these videos, for those who don't know, those who are new to YouTube, these videos are really fun to watch on Fast Forward. <laughs> Just letting you guys know. All right, first up, I am a professional astrologer. I do write tons and tons and tons of horoscopes, and we look at the horoscopes live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday right here on the channel. So if you're into that, then please subscribe to the channel and tune in to one of the live stream horoscopes, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at around lunchtime Eastern. Next, if you want a personal reading, right, I am a professional astrologer and I do read the tarot cards here, then simply hit the PayPal link in the description box below and set it up. Next, <laughs> next, it's a little blah blah at the beginning. Next, we have a new astrology app uh, for both iPhone and Android devices. This is it right here. All right, and on the app, you get three different, you know, I put three different horoscope widgets on there. There's tarot readings on there. There's compatibility stuff. All of my videos on there and check it out there's a link in the description box below and the app is a lot of fun and it's pretty cool and finally the super the super beautiful and creative slc my wife my beautiful wife she has um her energy stone necklaces are now on sale her chakra energy stone stone necklaces are now on sale at the adore store and at amazon.com and there's a link in the description box as well as a coupon code for first time purchasers and um, they make great gifts and all of this helps support the channel and before we go on i'll just show that to you right now really quick whoa look multi sunny <laughs> multi sunny yeah. all right check it out that's my script we're gonna do so this is the adore store right here and then um so you can either shop straight on the adore store do 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 and this is it all of our stuff is here these are the energy stone the chakra stone necklaces that she has this is the cage one the original one she has lots of shoes and stuff here anyways there's a uh, a coupon if you use the coupon for first time buyers called and the coupon is adore store if you use it anywhere on this website poshmark uh, for your first purchase you'll get ten dollars off um, your purchase <laughs> so go ahead and do that now if you don't want to go through poshmark say you live in a different part of the world you can also purchase it through Amazon and both of the necklaces are available through Amazon right now and they're awesome uh, you know they're they are in limited quantity and uh, she's always adding new stuff and uh, I think it's great and every little bit helps support the channel all right 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 I get it I get it I get it so that's the deal that's the um, that's the adore store and there's a link in the description box below please help support the channel and that's one of the best ways to do it all right, enough blah blah. Let's get down to it. That's the intro. All right, today's list are the guys who never admit they're wrong. It's your fault. It's your fault. Hey, Sonny, I didn't do it. The brains was just lying there. I didn't eat nothing. It's just, no. He was riding his motorcycle, and he just kind of fell off, and the brains was there. I was just cleaning the sidewalk with my tongue. I didn't do it. All right, all right, it's okay. I didn't say you were wrong. I didn't say, and Sonny, I think the unicorn peed in the pool again. There's rainbows everywhere. All right, whatever, man. <laughs> whatever, man. Sonny, I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't. Those Skittles were there before I got there. All right, it's all cool. All right, let's drink some coffee and reset my brains here for a second. Oh, man. Why are we talking about Skittles? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Today's list are the guys who never admit they're wrong. Right, and although we are using sun sign stereotypes, the patterns presented here can easily and sometimes more readily, all right, so you're gonna have to look at your chart. You can go to the app and grab a copy of your chart for free. All right, uh, some of the, the patterns represented here can easily and sometimes more readily apply to rising signs, moon or and or moon signs, and often as the case for, you know, never admitting you're wrong, Mars signs. 
So take it all with a grain of salt and calibrate, you know, and calibrate for that donkey at work who won't get off your ass, right? All right, first up, here we go. First up, not first, <laughs> numero four. Here we go. First up has been on a lot of lists lately. They've been on a lot of sunny side lists lately. And it shouldn't be that much of a surprise because we've been focusing on, you know, the negative qualities of the zodiac. So if we're talking about, so if we're talking about guys who are opinionated, dogmatic, arrogant, not necessarily selfish, all right? Let's not throw the kitchen sink at them. But they are psychic. They're inquisitive. Uh, they're know-it-alls, definitely know-it-alls. The first two guys on the list are know-it-alls. They're great at solving puzzles, specialize in looking behind the veil and uncovering truths. Uh, then if you've got all of that stuff, then you're going to cruise into number four. And that's Dorkio. <laughs> All right, now check this action before you all start farting out of your mouth. Scorpio rules the eighth house, which is uncovering secrets. It's the, you know, the eighth house uncovering secrets. Twelfth house is where everything kind of dissolves. And I'll ex explain this stuff in my workshops. But um, the eight, twelfth house is the stuff that's around you. And uh, you don't necessarily see it. If it's behind your sun, you don't see it. But the eighth house is digging in behind the veil and finding it occult what is behind this the secrets right behind the veil all right whatever scorpio deals with the eighth house which is uncovering secrets it's the occult it's shared resources the eighth house is shared resources it's death taxes inheritances which is money you know an inheritance is money from dead people and sex which if you do it wrong might seem like you're doing with a dead person <laughs> no no and no no uh -uh, uh 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 scorpio does not always get it right but they are our most authentic sign. But they're also a fixed sign, which means stubborn. And like I said earlier, they're psychic and they know how to see things that you don't see. So even if you're wrong, they'll just think you haven't seen the light yet. It's frustrating. The first couple of signs on the list today are like that. But there's a little more. Actually, most of yeah, I know the first couple of signs are arrogant. But there's a little more. You know some of the signs, um, you know when some signs cross paths right or argue or express objections or you know they just don't get it right scorpios just look at you and will probably say <laughs> or they'll give you that look right the scorpio will give you the look you're not only wrong but you're so dumb i'm not even going to tell you why you're wrong because you're too dumb to even figure it out yourself i'm like seriously that's messed up right <laughs> so both scorpio and cancer like to blame you for imaginary things well the, they're imaginary in the real world, just to say, but very real to the imaginary world of the water signs. Number four, that's straight action. You guys knew they were going to be here. Scorpio. All right. I'm going to make a list without Scorpio on the list and without this, <laughs> but we'll do some good people next. Next up, on, next up, number three on today's list is an off-the-wall air sign that has a reputation for being... A stubborn know-it-all, right? These two guys, these guys in Scorpios are know-it-alls. These guys are aloof, judgmental, highly opinionated. But they do tend to keep those opinions by themselves, right? They're ruled by, the original ruler was Saturn. They're now ruled by Uranus, which is like explosive and revolutionary and like disco balls. But like, they uh, were originally by Saturn. These guys in Capricorn, they keep their shiz to themselves. All right. All right, all right, here we go. They are highly opinionated, but they do tend to keep those opinions to themselves, or at least bottle them up until they hit the mental bananas, right? That's Uranus in action. Then, then these guys, these guys are so crazy, they'll probably take like a month-long trip to Australia and break up with you over text. <laughs> like, seriously, I've heard them do that. All right, the stupid things these guys do to themselves and the world around them when simply playing by their own rules is uh, something epic. It's another trait of these guys. They play by their own rules. On the other hand, not just this sign. Most of the guys on this list today play by their own rules. On the other hand, they are, they are one of the most beautiful signs of the Zodiac. They are smart, and they do want the best for everyone. It's just that for some reason, they think that they're always right. And what they want is what's actually best for everyone. And that's number three, Aquarius. Right, seriously, play there's no joke on this action, you know? <laughs> like Dorkio, Aquarius is a fixed sign that thinks they know everything. So when push comes to Jackson Town, they're gonna just 
thrust or trust their instincts. Oh, they're definitely going to thrust their instincts onto you too. Watch out when an aquar when an Aquarius starts thrusting their instincts. <laughs> then you got to watch your action, man. All right, their view of the situation. Right? Maybe even like okay. So let me read this again. When push comes to shove, right, these guys are going to trust their instincts, you know, their view of the situation. They might even trust, like, chicken bones or something, right, or some bird singing in a tree. Or I kid you not, maybe these guys uh, tr would rather trust something they read on a cereal box, like, and I'm not joking. And they're going to look at you like you're an idiot and you don't understand. All of these guys are going to do that. Scorpio does that. Aquarius does that. Highly judgmental signs. Now, there's something about judgmental, but not in a Libra kind of way, right? Libra's like, Libra will chill. Uh, these two guys don't chill. There's something about these guys that involves waiting things out. Fixed signs wait things out. Although not technically patient, Scorpio and Aquarius uh, will wait out the storm. Yes, both of them can rage hell, you know, like Aries with sand in their panties. These guys will really rage. But the fixed signs have a natural understanding of the ebb and flow of life. And they know, just because things are not looking up today, if they wait out the storm, the beautiful day that follows will shine light on the truth. And that, the, you know, they'll shine light on the truth that they were right all along. In other words, these two guys are willing to go down with the ship, hoping that, uh, you know, <laughs> hoping that the hole in the boat will magically repair itself, you know, rather than swimming to safety. Seriously, I know it sounds odd, right? But these guys, both Scorpio and Aquarius are like that. They'll like, they'll like come up with some ideas. These two signs think very far into the future. And um, uh, you know how Sagittarius has a reputation for seeing lots of things? Uh, that's not necessarily the case. Sagittarius is philosophical with a grand philosophy, but they sh their thinking is very precise and pointed like the arrow. Whereas uh, Scorpio and Aquarius, they uh, think deep into the future. And although it's not, and so they take a wait and see approach. So they might be wrong in the moment, but they'll never admit it because they know that in the next moment, their initial statement might be right. Anyways, that's the deal with those two guys. And they're narcissistic. And they think they know everything. And they're stubborn. <laughs> and they, 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 believe in, they believe in the truth of the cereal box. Number three, least likely to admit they're wrong, Aqua Dorcas. <laughs> next. All right, everybody cool so far? Everybody cool? Everybody got it? Everybody cool so far? Sunny, I'm cool! Okay, okay. <laughs> nice, okay. Just a reminder, okay? Please subscribe to the channel. Please share the videos. Uh, please uh, check out the app and visit SLC's Adore Store. Links for all of that in the description box. All right, next up, number two, least likely to admit that you're wrong. You know, okay, you know, the top couple of signs today on, on today's list should be obvious. Now, let's look at a couple of signs. Uh, Pisces, maybe, you know, Pisces isn't really stubborn. You know, Sagittarius, they don't really care. Aries and Aries, you would think Aries is stubborn? Not really. Aries is involved in so many games, it would be absolutely ludicrous to expect Aries to bat like a thousand. You know, it's just not going to happen. And Aries knows that. They know they're not always right. They're just playing. Like, Aries like to play. So, if, you know, they might... And they like to argue and spar. So, like, you know, they don't really think that. Um, but the other signs do. <laughs> but if any of these guys have the rising or moon of our number two sign today, okay, then you better keep the bill, okay? Because you're going to have to return that guy, you know? Because in the game of life, you've got some returning to do. So I'll say that all again. All of those signs, like Pisces, Sagittarius, you know, um, you know, like Libra, you know, signs that don't necessarily admit they're wrong. If they have like a rising sign or a moon sign or maybe even like a Mars-ish sign, maybe a Saturn-y kind of thing, as um, our number two sign today, then you got to be careful. These guys are you're going to be in for a fight, and that's number two, obviously Leo. Seriously. All right. At no time does I'll say it again. Number two, Leo. At no time does Leo ever want to look bad. They are the royal family of the zodiac, and they expect to look good. They expect you to look good too. Keep that in mind. If you're going out with a Leo, you better like iron your T-shirt. You know, very seriously. And uh, you know, if you guys are gonna, you know, lace some like 
closed door game with the Leo. You better make sure your your tidy whitey's been bleached in love. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. Anyways, what Sonny? What were you talking about? I don't really know, man. All right. Okay. Here we go. They are the royal family of the zodiac, and they expect to look good always. But there's more. Leo is also a very, very playful sign. They are highly creative. They rule the fifth house of fun, romance, children, childlike behavior, playtime, and obviously making babies. They are a proud sign, proud, 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 that wants the best for everyone. And although they are another fixed sign, and definitely a stubborn sign, they'd rather just let the gaff slide. Leo doesn't hold your mistakes against you. Right? They don't they don't hold your mistakes against you. And they'll never tolerate you holding court against them. Leo just wants to get back to the good time. And if you persist, they probably won't spend too much time arguing. They'll just cut you out of the kingdom. Like seriously. Actually, all of the signs so far are more than willing to just cut you sideways rather than putting up with nonsense. And this is easy. There's a very popular Leo rising in the news these last couple of years who never ever admits that he's wrong because <laughs> very since this is quite sincere all right number two numero do leo Rah! okay whatever all right here we go all right sonny chill relax <laughs> time for some honorable mentions what about do 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 taurus what do you guys think what about taurus they are the last of the fixed signs, right? Those three first three signs were fixed signs. And you know, and Taurus is probably the most stubborn of the stubborn sign, right? They're fixed to Earth. But Taurus is also ruled by Venus, which is the planet of planet of beauty, grace, attraction, love. You know, sometimes being a little bit lazy, if you have too much Venus or you have a nice relaxed Venus in your chart, you're gonna be a little bit lazy and and harmony. This means Taurus is stubborn. Oh, let's go back a little bit again. For those who study astrology with me, everybody's looking for these trines in your chart, right? These very, if you pull it up, you'll see like blue lines and they'll be like very harmonious aspects. But if you have too many harmonious aspects in a chart or in a relationship, a synastry chart, you're going to end up being lazy. So, or un, lazy, unmotivated. Uh, so just watch that. You need some red lines in your chart to to motivate you you don't want tension you don't want angst you don't want um a feeling of like despair or depression but you need a bit of uh motivation you know conflict resolution not as hard as conflict but a desire and a drive to achieve something uh, within your chart so too many trines in your chart going to make you lazy just letting you know all right but whatever okay taurus is ruled by venus which is the planet of beauty grace attraction love peanut butter sandwiches sometimes being a little bit lazy and harmony this means taurus is stubborn but but they're ruled by venus so they value peace love and harmony above being right all right you guys got that so libra now no, notice this libra and taurus are notorious for taking the easy way out the path of least resistance you know libra is like go with the flow taurus is like leave me alone i'm smelling the flowers right ferdinand the bull so they are so taurus is stubborn and when they make up their mind then the jig is up you know <laughs> you know time to back up when taurus makes up their mind the jig is up that's the action it's done it's time to back up the pumpkin because cinderella's got a curfew seriously but for the most part it takes a while to get there and Taurus would rather take a knee than stick around for the results so sorry guys no Taurus today stubborn yes but Taurus is not willing to fight for stupidity seriously next honorable mention how about do 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 <laughs> cancer cancer seriously seriously Sonny let me drink some coffee on that <laughs> you watch what you say can Sonny you know the crabs are watching you i know <laughs> now cancer does not like to relive hurts oh they do not do that <laughs> they don't like it when the shell cracks and the water sunlight pours in that's pain for cancer they don't like it so then right they tend to avoid the conflict altogether right unless they're blaming you seriously they're more tenacious than stubborn. They're a cardinal sign. 
tenacious. They go after what they want, but not like this. They go like this and like this and like this. Right? They are the sign of nurturing, not fighting and not accumulating, not healing and not partying. Right? Although they can be quite adept at all of the above. So unless they have a Libra moon that likes to debate everything or an Aries rising that likes to fight or maybe a Mars in Scorpio that is definitely the queen of subterfuge, they're probably going to be more nurturing and loving than into debate mode. But again, as a cardinal sign, they will go their own way, which can easily be behind your back. Watch out. The moon, right? The dark side of the moon. Right? So, okay. All right, and as a psychic sign, um, as a psychic sign that thinks they know more than what's actually happening and that doesn't usually tell you what's going on in the first place, well, how can you be wrong when you're the only one playing by your own rules and your own game? <laughs> what? Okay, so check it out. So Cancer is the dark side of the moon and they're psychic and they're aggressive. So they're kind of doing, they're here to nurture you, they're, they're here to help you, but they're going to do whatever they want anyway. So you got to be cool with that kind of scene. If you're going to hang with the crab, then you got to be cool with that scene. Anyways, how can you be wrong when you're playing by your own rules and your own game and you're the only one playing? You can't really argue with, you know, heart-shaped peanut butter sandwiches. I can't, you know. So, Anyways. Anyways, I changed my mind. These guys are... These guys... <laughs> these guys are... I changed my mind. Hold on a second. These guys, cancer doesn't get an honorable mention. Today, we're going to have a sunny side first. Forget it. I changed my mind. No honorable mention for cancer. Today, sunny side first, 2B. 2B. But definitely behind Leo, cancer. Seriously. These guys never admit when they're wrong. Seriously. They're just like, mm. you just don't understand me. Mm. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, it's not funny, son. Mm. What? <laughs> like, forget it. They never admit they're wrong. Anyways. Like, seriously, man. What the hell? Crab love. <laughs> okay. Seriously. Okay. Who's next? <sighs> Sonny, you gotta calm down. You're gonna hurt your brains, man. Oh, yeah. Seriously. Yeah, seriously. I gotta calm down. All right. Next. Let's get down back to the list here. Okay. Who's next? Who's number one never to admit their wrong sign of the zodiac? You know, seriously, guys, who do you think is the number one sign? Well, obviously, number one on the list today has to be right a lot. Obviously. All right? Or, oh, I'm saying the word right a lot, but I'm speaking with my left hand. <laughs> or at least be able to back everything up, uh, back everything they say with some kind of facts. You know, now, check it out. However distorted, twisted, perverted, or abused to them, the facts are the facts, and that's just that. And if you dare to debate or question them, they will throw more and more uh, definitely irrelevant facts at you until you're both out of steam, frustrated, at pointless loggerheads. Then they will huff puff, throw a mental tantrum, and eventually they will call you stupid. And that's for not agreeing with them. And that's number one. We know this one, Virgo. I always meant it. <laughs> now, we all know that Virgos look nervous. And a Virgo moon is one of the most self-critical placements of the entire zodiac. And a Virgo Mars is both opinionated and quick to point fault. But none of this is good enough reason uh, to refuse admitting a gaffe. Like, seriously. It just doesn't make sense to me. And I can see it in the comments now. I always admit when I'm wrong, Sonny. You're stupid. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> yeah, seriously. That's what we're going to see. No, Sonny, you're wrong. The facts don't lie. All right, well, we get it. Once again, it doesn't make sense. Except Virgo isn't really about being right. That's not the point of Virgo. It goes much, much deeper than that. To a Virgo, it's all about two things. First, perception. The sign of the Virgo represents the virgin, right? And on one hand, uh, that's raw, freakish, impulsive desires. Yeah, a virgin is raw, freakish, impulsive desires. What do you think a virgin thinks about all the time? <laughs> they think about, let's go pick some flowers? Oh, what does he think a virgin's really thinking? Oh, I wonder when I get to hold hands with that guy. Do you think that's really what the virgin's thinking? Seriously. 
All right, so raw, freakish, impulsive power. And much as I like to make fun of Libra and Sagittarius, right? Like we make fun of them. Too. They don't need to control themselves in public or at least astrologically with a chastity belt. Seriously, you don't see no Libra or, or um, Sagittarius walking around with a chastity belt. So like, who do you think you're fooling, Virgo? Seriously. Next, the other thing is, the next thing is, Virgo is a sign of facts. Flat out, you know? It's Mercury, which is thinking, and earth which is stuff virgo's thinking stuff facts thinking about the facts you know gemini mercury thinking air communication ideas thinking about ideas virgo thinking about facts all right okay everybody gets it son. but they aren't exactly the sign of putting the facts together everybody in the zodiac is responsible for putting the facts together Aries, running out and uncovering stuff. Taurus, taking care of it. Gemini, talking about it. You know, putting, getting, bringing things together. Cancer, nurturing these ideas. Well, maybe if we care about, you know, Cancer cares about the idea. Yeah, yeah, you know, we care about it. Leo shines light and boosts it up, shines everything. You know, this idea might be pretty good. I think this idea is pretty good. Then Virgo, we get to Virgo, and Virgo is like, this is a real idea. This is a real thing. This is a real thing. And we're all responsible for putting the, the for creating this um, tableau of, uh, or this quilt or, of ideas together. All right, to create the world that we live in. All right, whatever, Sonny, whatever. All right, but Virgo is a sign of facts, but they aren't exactly the sign of putting the facts together. And that's where we have the great astrological disconnect. Virgo is constantly searching for order and completion and a tangible picture in a fact-based universe. Except that's not the world that we live in. We live in a world where the facts evolve over time. Remember how I said earlier that Aquarius and Scorpio will just sit there and wait until they're right? Virgo's not like that. They can't handle it. Excel. So that's not the world that we live in. We live in a world where the facts evolve over time. We live in a world where opinions change. We live in a world, uh, an evolving world of advancement and growth. And as a mutable sign, Virgo is actually down with all of that. They are, after all, the sign of planning, planning what's going to happen and analyzing how to get there. And they are cool with the changing picture. Just do not let that picture change before they get a chance to peek at the answers. Or Virgo will definitely freak call you names and like just boogie out. Virgo's not going to boogie out. They're going to call you names and cheat and try and take you down. It's kind of like Taurus at dessert time. <laughs> Seriously. Taurus at dessert time. You want to come up here, Mr. Taurus? Hey, Johnny, what's up? Did I miss the main course? Did I miss the dessert? Did I miss the... Ah! Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> it kinda like, it's kind of like Taurus at dessert time, you know? <laughs> they're gonna, anyways, whatever. <laughs> Don't worry, player. We saved a protein shake for you. <sighs> and that's the action. Number one, never admits their wrong sign of the entire zodiac Virgo. Right, seriously. And if I may say, um, <laughs> if I say Virgo, it's between you and me, you have a bit of a potty mouth for a virgin. Just saying. <laughs> okay. Anyways, that's the action. Thanks for sharing the video, everybody. Thanks for giving it a thumbs up. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Thanks for downloading the app. Thanks for visiting the Adore store. Thanks for buying my new book, The 100, First 100 Days of Love. Thanks for hanging out. And that's the action. From the sunnyside.net, I'm Sunny. Wishing everyone the best of a super beautiful day. And I'll see you guys soon.